What is up, y'all? It's John with BeSuperfly.com um, with a free gift for you. Um, this is the anchor layout that I designed and um, built. Um, and you can download it for free by just going to our website, BeSuperfly.com. And then just clicking on the free layout, get it now, and uh, sign up to our email list, and you'll get the Beacon landing page for free. You'll also get a video of me going through how to install it um, using the, it's just a layout, importing the JSON file, and then importing the CSS, uh, and then a couple tweaks, and you're ready to go. And then I also show in the video. Uh, in that in that video, um, how how to get these extra animations that don't come with Divi, uh, how I'm doing certain pieces, uh, like there's some animations happening there, how I'm doing some pieces like this image grow, also how this effect is done right here, this little hover image effect here. Um, so yeah, if you have a chance, swing by and get it, and if you already are on our email list then just uh you can go to uh yeah go ahead and go back and sign up to get it if you're already on our list you should be getting an email to download it um, but what i also wanted to show you was i had worked up an example so by default this is kind of what it what it does and i by default down here um if i hovered over this this uh column it wouldn't do the image grow but it would on if I hover over the image so I wanted to make it so if I hover over any part of this column the image would would grow and then I thought it'd be kind of cool if this line grew too and then I thought it'd be kind of cool if it changed from this green color to more of this blue color and so I worked it up on this on a, my test site here and you'll see um, that when I hover over the text the image grows and my line grows and changes color. And I'm going to show you how I did that. And we're going to add it to um, this page here that doesn't have it. Okay, so first thing that I did was I went into the page here and I went to that area that had those the blurbs and the dividers. And I went into my row module set. Well, the section is called uh, anchor work. And then I went into the row and I gave each column the class of work item. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on this page. I'm going to scroll down to my anchor work section. I can actually get rid of that. I don't need that. Uh, go into this row here that has all the blurbs. And I'm going to give column one class of work item, column two class of work item, and column three. So that was kind of step one. And then step two was to give these dividers their own class as well of, of work divider. Because uh, I didn't want to use CSS to target like the ET underscore PB underscore divider. So sometimes it's just better to go in and give things just a class name that you can remember and it's easier to, a little easier to work with okay so all our dividers have this work divider and I'm gonna go ahead and save this and nothing's gonna happen but once I add some CSS um, it'll, it'll start to happen Okay, so here's the CSS that you get when you download Anchor. And so I'm going to go down to the work section right now, which is just one rule. And I've already worked this up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this code right here, which I'll provide as part of this tutorial. I'll probably just throw in this, this whole work section that you can just copy and, and add on. So let's just do that. Let's just replace this work section here with that section I just did. And I'll show you what this is going to do. First of all, uh, well, I guess we'll comment out certain ones, and then I'll enable them as we go along to, to see what's up. So the first, thing, the first thing we'll work on is the, uh, 
is the is the width of the anchor divider. Um, so we're going into the anchor work section, and then we're saying work item, which that dot work item. That's what we gave the columns here. You'll see if I inspect this. You'll see each column now. Here we go. Each of those three columns has this class of work item. And that's what we added back here when we went into uh, this row. And we added that work item, work item class name to each column. That's, that's what, oh, I'm sorry, let me go back out here. That's what that is there. So what the CSS is saying is go to the, when, when, uh, when the work item column is hovered, find the work divider and make the width 100%. And the work divider, we gave all our dividers here, we gave them a class of work divider. And by default, the work divider, there it is, work divider, the width is 35. So if I make that 100%, it's going to take up the whole area that has available. Um, so that's step one. So let's go ahead and add that CSS. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here. I'm going to select all, copy, hop back over to Chrome, and select all, put my new, SS, my new CSS in there, and update. All right, so now we see that it's it's giving me 100%. It's really choppy, though. Um, and, yeah, it's giving me the 100%. So the next thing I'm going to add in is the color change. So I'm going to go ahead and uncomment that out. Now you'll see here on the border, if I inspect it, or the divider, the color actually isn't part, you know, out here we have, uh, here, let me go, there we go, work divider. Here's the width that we changed. Um, but you'll see that the color isn't there. So if I twirl this down, my only option is this before pseudo class. If I select that, then you'll see there's the color. So I need to I need to say work divider and then use the before. And this is why I used the class, because this ET PV divider before, it's a little tough to manage. So instead you can just say work divider before, which is what we're doing right here. Work divider before and then that that color. So again I'm gonna copy all this, hop over to Chrome. Get rid of that CSS, paste in my new one. And now what's going to happen is it's going to grow and change color, but it's going to be immediate, which, I mean, that could be cool if that's what you want, but that's not really what we want. So the last step for this is to add, for the um, divider, is to add in this transition and you probably don't even need this webkit moz opera um, I don't know what MS stands for maybe you like your side um, you probably don't need that anymore but it's just in my code snippet so I'm just gonna leave it and you'll see what I'm, I'm at this this adds the easing um, this this says hey any effect that happens all so any color change any any width change instead of having it be immediate have it have it animate, have it transition from 35, you know, pixels wide to 100. You know, right now it's just, right now it's just jumping, but and the color's changing right away. Let's let's do that. Let's have it change over time, and we're going to do that over 0.3 seconds, which we'll mess with this to see what kind of fun effects we can get. And I'm applying this to the anchor work dot work item work divider because that's what we're changing right here. And you don't want to do it, you see this says hover, you don't want to do it on hover, you want it to be the default state. 
and then I'm also adding it to the anchor work work item. Oh, see, so yeah, I need to get rid of that. There we go. Um, the before, which is changing the color. So this one is going to ease our width, and this one's going to ease our color. So now I'm going to select all, copy this, hop over to Chrome, go back into my CSS for this page, clear it out, add it in, update, refresh, and there we go. It's slowly changing the color and the line. That looks much, much better. Um, if I go in there, I'm using Atom, uh, the editor at Atom, A T O M. So I can, if I, and I'm on a Mac, if I command click, if I click here and then I command click before each one of those threes. Actually, I'm going to command click in front of the dot here. And we're going to say two. 2.3 seconds. Copy this. So now instead of taking 0.3 seconds, it's going to take two and a third second. And that will show us the transition a little better. That will be really slow, but it's showing you the gradual change that's happening. So you can play with those speeds and see what you like best. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it back to 0.3 is fine. All right, so the last step on this is to get it so that when we hover over the column, this image grows as well. Right now, the image code, which is down here, the image zoom feature, it's saying, hey, um, once this image wrap div, which has the image inside it, once that's hovered on, then scale it. So what I did was I copied this. I'm going to go ahead and, un and I'm going to say instead, um, so here's where, here's what it was. Oh gosh. Let me go back down here and copy that. There we go. Okay. Here's where it was. And so let me show you what's happening here. So this image here, you'll see, um, and in the download video of Anchor, there's actually some up here in the code, full with code here, there's some jQuery that that wraps the image um, with this image wrap class. That way we can do this growing effect here. But let me show you what's going on. Uh, we'll use this guy right here, this one. Okay, so I have my class of image wrap. And so what this original code says, hey, image wrap, Look at the image inside of that, which would be this guy. And when I hover on this guy, grow the image. And that's why it's happening there, but not down here. What this new one is saying is, all right, go into my anchor work section, go into my column, which is work item. And when I hover over the column, go find the image wrap div and the image inside that and grow it. And remember work item work item is our column name here. Work item that we gave it. Alright, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I'm going to copy all this now. And this is our final this is, um, CSS that, you, that you'll get with this tutorial. I'll throw it in here. Well, I'll just give you the work section like I said before. Update and then once I refresh, this is not going to be slow anymore. It's going to be faster. And when I hover over the column, the image is going to grow. All right. And then there we go. Now both things are happening at the same time. So yeah, again, with this tutorial, I'm just going to grab this work section here. And I'll just make a new file. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to call it anchor, anchorwork.css. And so all you'll have to do is um, go into your, again, your, your default layout is going to be, or your default CSS file is going to be like this. 
and then this is the file you're going to get with this tutorial and you're just going to take this copy it and replace your work section with it and then take everything in here select all copy it all go into the page that you set up and replace the CSS so I hope you like this little extra bit of tip here for the anchor layout again if you don't have anchor go ahead and go to our website the home page click on uh, scroll down a tiny bit click on get it now and then sign up for our email list here and um, even if you are signed up for our email list this is a different list so go ahead and sign up anyway and subscribe you'll get you'll get the uh, instructions uh, a link to download this and instructions on how to install it and yeah I hope you liked our little bit of extra CSS here to make this kind of a bit more interesting interactive as clients would say I want something interactive well here's a little something that's interactive for you all right have a great day everybody